someone has addressed to me that they're being treated like too naive because they came out and they are being treated as one third of a person because they have Asperger's and they are gay. This is something to address by a video because there's actually a lot of things I can say about this. I, I First I need to get to my story and then I'm going to get back to yours, okay? I would actually, it took me until I was 21 to get my driver's license. This is something, I'm not proud of this, but I really don't feel like it was all my fault. I, I really didn't have anybody to help me, and my parents were always acting like they were going to help me later, and I would believe it because I was naive, and they'd act like you know they're going to help me that weekend, and then they would or they wouldn't. I was lucky if I got to have 15 minutes of a full week of driving time in the end, but for a long time I believed it, or there would be excuses not to help me get my driver's license. It was just like one thing after another, and it was like the last year of my living with my parents that I really started to fight about it because I went to a community college, but the point is that I really felt like they were afraid to have me drive, and it wasn't because I was gay, it wasn't because I was sexually active, I don't think it was anything like that. It was it was because they were afraid to let me have my own life, and I was like the middle kid, they kept pushing things off and things like that, and they treated me much the same way as I think that they're treating you. And I also had the issue with the whole religion thing I addressed in my coming out video that they tried to fix me with an anti-gay seminar and lied to me and said it was an educational seminar. And um, I think there's a lot of early stereotypes with being gay, especially for religious people, I think, that, you know, you can get them to, to be straight if you push them a certain way. And it's unfortunate that your dad feels that way. And I, I feel for you. And I can tell you that with my parents, it took them a long time to not be, you know, hurtful acting. They might make rude comments. And it would hurt, even though I, the weird thing was that I didn't really care what they thought. I had sort of been over my parents for a long time, but still that kind of thing hurts from your parents. You don't want to hear that from your parents. It's rude. It's so rude. You know, you, that's the time of your life that you need the most acceptance. And, and truthfully, my, my coming out when I was 15 with my parents, I don't feel like our relationship ever truly recovered. We, we got to be more comfortable with each other, but that's really the time you need to be acceptance of your, accepting of your kid. And, and the same with Asperger's, and even though they might think that you're more naive, that doesn't mean that they need to necessarily treat you that way. They just, parents need to be straightforward with their kids, but not rude and not not treat them like a kid. I um, Anyway, it's fun that you said that you were 21, because I was 21 when I ended up moving to Vegas with this psycho boyfriend, and he helped me get a driver's license and get my act together. Uh, 21 was a big changing year for me. And my parents are still treating me like a kid and not letting me sleep over at houses and stuff. So I think that's common for Asperger's people to be babied, but that doesn't mean that it's okay. You, I felt like with my parents, they never really stopped treating me like a kid. They never stopped babying me. They, they never, my mom, even when I was old, would try to like get me to wear certain clothes and stuff, like, making me wear a jacket or a different shirt or... I, my mom treated me very differently than the other three boys, um, and I really resented her for it. And even though you know she loved me differently and that should be sweet or something, to me I just hated it. I just felt so smothered. Um, but anyway, all I can say is that your dad might come around in time, and if he doesn't, then you know his loss and just try not to let it bother you. Sexuality is something that people do not understand, and I, I really want more information out there about it. I want to make videos that might explain some things better about sexuality. People have disconnects with it. A lot of straight people are very narrow. They just assume that all people are going to be the same. And that relates to Asperger's too. And people think like if, you know, if they can learn something for a test, like everybody should know, not true. People with Asperger's might have a hard time of reading comprehension. And the same with sexuality. Sexuality is not all the same. Not everybody is straight. And that's why people have the generalization that it's a choice, you know, because they're straight and therefore everybody else must be, right? Yeah, no, that's not that way. But anyway, I I feel for your situation, but I don't... People are going to do whatever they're going to do. I can't really say anything to make you change your dad's mind. I just hope that you can somehow do something that will make your dad treat you more like a grown-up. If you have not moved out, then that might be a good idea. You know, something like that. Save money. <laughs> Save lots and lots of money. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> but it might get better with time. And I hope that addressed a few important things.